let's use quiz and air rods to model finding the nth term rule of a sequence. So I've got this sequence here, 4, 7, 10, 13. So I'm going to add those rods, 4, 7, um, 10, and I'm going to need a 13, so I'm just going to add it in up here. And I'm using the R button here to rotate the rods. You can use the button uh, if you want. Um, let's turn the colours off because it's a little bit distracting at the moment. So here's our sequence. And then I'll say to pupils, OK, how do I get from 4 to 7? And pupils will quickly say, well, I need an extra 3. And that's the same for all of the terms because it's a linear sequence. So from 7 to 10, it's plus 3. And then from 10 to 13, it's plus 3. So you can see the sequence behaves a lot like the 3 times table in that it goes up in 3s. So then what I'll do, I'll put the 3 times table over our sequence. So I'll put 1 3 in there, then 2 3s, 6, 3 3s are 9, and then 4 3s are 12. And you can see now quite clearly that our sequence is one more than numbers in the 3 times table. So I'll get this extra 1 rod here and pop those on, and then we've built our sequence exactly. But instead of saying 4, 7, 10, 13, it's 3 plus 1, 2 3s plus 1, 3 3s plus 1, and 4 3s plus 1. So in other words, it's the 3 times table with 1 added to each term. So when we show the algebraic solution, 3n plus 1, it makes a little bit more sense to pupils. It's the 3 times table with 1 added to each term.